Let us turn to God in prayer. Refresh us with your word, O God. Baptize us with the power of the gospel as we hear it read and proclaimed this day. As you did in the beginning, send your spirit to hover over the chaos, the chaos of our own frenzied and disordered souls, that we would hear your truth ringing forth in a clear and unambiguous voice. Good news for ourselves and for this entire world. Amen. Our first scripture, scripture lesson is from the letters to the Romans, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Therefore, you have no excuse, whoever you are, when you judge others. For in passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself, because you, the judge, are doing the very same things. You say, we know that God's judgment on those who do such things is in accordance with the truth. Do you imagine, whoever you are, that when you judge those who do such things and yet do them yourself, you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience? Do you not realize that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? May God bless the reading and hearing of Scripture. <clears throat> 